Then I understand we have some presentations tonight. We do. Uh, we have Mr. Moore. I'm over here. Okay, and Mr. Rotuno, and then uh, Mr. Clark. I don't see Mr. Clark. Okay. Uh, I got a text from Alex Cable that he had to postpone their presentation. Okay. I can update you later, though. They got an issue with the flagpole. Okay. Okay. Um, we have Mr. Moore and Mr. Rotuno going to talk about the uh, entrepreneurship class and some things they're doing. So we actually have to uh, well, I move. Need to start in here. Do you want to start in here? Okay. You want to just talk about it then, Mr. Moore? I believe he's going. First. Okay, you going first? Uh, he's, he's like the hype man. All right. He's the hype man. I am the hype man because I'm very excited yeah. about this program. Um, come the beginning of summer uh, last year when we were talking about doing summer work, we talked about uh, expanding the STEM program to include not just 3D printing, but also 2D printing, large format on various things. And we started kicking around the ideas of what the students could do, what they could learn from beginning into final production and shipping. So what we did was we invested in some machinery and materials and set it up and tested it out. And it's been very, very successful. Um, it's, like, it's very exciting stuff, new stuff going on. Um, I was the tech end on it and ordering, and then Mr. Moore took over with curriculum, and uh, it's been running very well, so I'll hand it over to you. Yeah, now it's the time for a field trip. We're going to go actually go down to what the kids, I actually started kind of as a joke. Um, it's the old computer lab. It's got a lot of windows, and I want it as a fishbowl. Um, I wanted a lot of exciting things. We have all the 3D printers now. They used to be in my room, and only the kids that came to the room got to see them. So now they're out front and they're walking by during class, they can actually see them going. Um, so I wanted to see, I wanted kids as they're changing classes or, you know, more ending the hallways to, um, you know, different places. Um, I want to see what was going on in there. So I just said, you know, starting answering the phone, the fishbowl on the first day, because, you know, we had kids peeking in what's going on in the first day. And so the kids kind of ran with it. And so we've named it the Fishbowl Graphics is the name of the company they came up with. Um, and then we went, next thing after you designed the name for a company, we came up with some logos. So um, on the, uh, the door is sort of a black and white early version. Um, we've gone onto a, a colored version now. We just haven't um, replaced it yet. We're waiting for um, some um, window cleaning stuff um, to come in. Uh, but now we're going to take a field trip, and I'm going to take you through all the stuff we have and what we um, have done already and what we can do. And kind of take you through the process of what the kids can do. TTM Industries uh, came on um, October 6th, I think Homecoming it came out and donated. Um, I was able to finally get it set up and do a test print um, with it and we'll get this thing running um, actually really soon because uh, one of the 8th grade STEM classes is actually designing um, CO2 powered cars that they're actually going to 3D print and they're going to be powered by a um, 8 Graham CO2 cartridge. So I'm going to use the saucer parts. So those will be going on next week. And that's right. a local company, Mr. Moore, right? Yeah, this is a local company uh, right down in the uh, park. Uh, when I was going to school when I first started, it was known as Sovereign Circuits. It changed hands and uh, numerous times. And what their main purpose is, is many uh, building circuit boards, the actual boards um, for military applications. And so we actually took um, four kids, we were able to go down and tour the facilities and uh, learn what they actually do and it was rather impressed with the amount of equipment they actually have. All right, so this is what we officially call Big Boy. Um, the kids come up with names, it, it kind of like sticks. Um, this is um, a 54 inch uh, vinyl cutter and printer, uh, so it's a wide format. Um, it's one of the biggest. Um, I think there's another 64 is the next. I don't know if they make. There's a higher depth. There's a high depth one, but I think this is it. This is the biggest yeah, one they actually cool. make. One of the um, so what we can actually do is we can print out vinyl banners. Um, we had um, David Vega design, um, which is not in class, but they wanted a basketball banner. And so he designed that as a run through. We were able to print that out. Um, part one, part yeah, two. Yeah, part two, and someone may be able to do is put on the PVC poles, they'll put together the basketball teams and be able to run through it. Um, normally, I just heard that we someone paid $150 didn't cost that to, to print that out here. It was way less than that. We're just going to leave it 
because I'm not going to tell you because if you order stuff, like, why are you charging me so much? I got to make somebody. Um, as part of the class, um, we, we talked about early on about um, how much kids can, we can actually make. Um, like, that banner could easily go for almost $300. And the kid's like, wow, you know, like when they see, like, wow, that's how much it costs, and this is how much, and I said, we're not going to do that. We're not trying to undercut the business. We're trying to teach you a business and a skill. You're not at the expert level of graphics design like some of these other companies are. Um, so we're going to charge them sort of way less. Um, what we can do is we've done T-shirts. I've been playing around with um, some designs, kind of my, um, so I can learn how the process. And there's two designs we came up with. Uh, potentially, we're going to start selling the Blue Jay Strong. The kids really like that. Um, it gives like a metallic fold on the Blue Jay head. Um, we can put the year on the sleeve and stuff like that. Um, kids came up with a price that kids would easily pay twenty to thirty dollars for that shirt, and didn't cost. I want to tell you the cost under that was ten bucks. Yeah. Okay. And so um, potentially, we want to start selling that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the machine, give you an idea of um, how quick and the quality that actually comes out real quick. Um, what I have loaded on the computer is two posters, and what's in here is um, poster board. So eventually, if like teachers want a big poster, we can do it and in the house charge them, you know, a few bucks. Um, that's all it's going to cost. Um, we'll be also the you know, laminated too um, if they want to you know, put it somewhere. That machine behind. Yeah. Mrs. Pittman is the, uh, the laminator. What that does is it can add in all weather conditions, add three to four years of the fading and rain resistance of things that we put outside. Um, this stuff here has steel through it. It's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big deal. Um, it's going to last five or six years without lamination. With lamination, it goes to a 10-year lifespan. Yeah, pretty close. Um, so yeah, it, it's... We can... Unless you're in a desert or a tsunami, yeah, it will last a good long time. All right, so um, what we have is uh, graphics. They're not going to print out. That was one of our biggest concerns is when we started this, like, really grainy. It was like, oh, my gosh, hopefully it's not going to come out like that. What it does is because of the large size, it actually can print out in the high definition. It gives you a very um, low-quality uh, preview so you can arrange stuff. Um, we can make this as – I can take this um, and make it as wide as um, – the medium automatically sets it up, automatically changes the resolution for me. What it's doing right now, it's going through and it's ripping them, which potentially might take some time. We'll get rid of that. All right, should speed up the process now. And so, like, we're dealing with some large, large um, files. All right, so in a minute that should go. All right, so as the kids come in, um, we have kids that, that want to do finance, and so they're in charge of writing out um, purchase orders, making sure we're getting paid. We have kids that deal with sales, I'm going to sneak back here. Um, through me and the kids, they've come up with their own way to manage stuff. They have their work orders, so they get work orders, they fill them out, we attach uh, correspondence by email right now. It's a lot of teachers that want stuff. Um, and so they're responsible for work orders. And they have a system. Work orders come in. They go to graphics. Graphics gets a coffee. They start creating gra graphics. They came up with how we're going to track it. So everything is done by name and a job number. Um, so then the graphics kids create a folder. They start generating a graphic, which is one or two kids do the graphics. Um, I help out um, if they need help. Um, then we have guys that are doing productions, and so through productions, they're the ones that are loading the medium onto the printer. They're the ones that are taking the graphics and actually printing, so the kids actually have access. It's not always me. Um, they go through the process of um, weeding, which I'm going to demonstrate what it is. They also have the process or go over and they actually heat press. So all the kids are doing the work. You know, I pitch in when I need to. And so what my weeding is is well, I'll show you real quick. Is we get these. This is the vinyl transfer. The machine actually prints it out and cuts everything out for us. And all we have to do is put it on a little transfer medium. And it's really that quick. And now I can go over and take it and we'll put it on the hot press and we'll show you how that goes. So the process of weeding is this is the vinyl we actually get. Um, right now, you can't really see the cut line. It's there. Um, we don't want to cut through the backing, and if we do that, then we'll pull off the graphic. So um, the kids literally have to go in, and, and it's cut. 
you can kind of see I've been doing it for long enough. I don't know where the edge is. That's an example of an easy one, too. The yes. whole white thing will come out. There's, when you have letters and stuff, you've got tools like easy to dig in. All right, so, I mean, and this is basically how easy the vinyl just peels away. Um, we remove all the white stuff. We don't want any of that to get stuck to the t-shirt. And this is considered to be what's called easy pill. Most of the vinyl products that we'll get in it is going to be this. Um, just for the process of people actually doing business, don't want to spend a lot of time doing that. And then we'll have to go back in and actually remove any little details we don't want. So if we get little tiny letters, it takes a little bit of time. Um, on the Special Forces t-shirt over there, we, we could have removed um, the way I did it. Um, once it was by accident, and the other one was like, well, I want to see the kids to play around, and they can actually remove any portion of that to kind of add an effect. And so they were able to lead out little, little tiny letters and different things. So, So we have our two graphics. Um, all the way over here is the t-shirt press. Um, it is rather hot. It's set at 320 degrees. Um, different mediums. Yeah, you guys can come over. I, mean, I got two. Uh, fortunately, I guess we should get the webcam. So what we always do is we're going to press the shirt real quick, try to get any wrinkles out. Uh, we do what's called for five seconds. Um, we put it on. I'm kind of particular, um, and so I got to a ruler. Um, they make laser guides and all kinds of other stuff. And then, so once I put the transfer on, all I'm doing now is just peeling off the vinyl, and there's my transfer. Even though I didn't get all of the beak, because it was kind of in a hurry, it's not going to matter. Cricket, you have to have certain cartridges or certain programs or certain images you buy. 
I can create any image, as long as I can create it into a vector art, which is basically a, a line form, I can print it out on, or cut it out on any file and create it. So this is really good for customization if people want names on their shirts and stuff. We can do everything there, or we can do it here. Uh, yeah, while well, you wait. I mean, so you come in and, um, our goal is to have a couple pre-made shirts already, so the kids come in, our price range right now is about 10 bucks. Um, it will probably change, um, get a little bit cheaper as we get better at it. Um, and then, so as the sky's the limit, it's up to the students. Uh, I'm guiding them and it's entirely up to them what they want to do. Um, right now there are 12 kids in the class, so we're <coughs> limited on sort of large production. Um, I think we're pretty much capped out at probably about a 50 order right now. Uh, we can do all the banners in the world because they're easy. Um, kids have got really good at, um, we can put grommets in them, um, putting on the uh, margin, taping them and everything else. Uh, a couple of the two banners we have done um, is one is that um, first thing I want to do is to get them used to, um, we had to make a thank you banner that the entire uh, school had an opportunity for the high school and middle school to sign. Uh, to give that company to thank them, and then we uh, put grommets in it, and um, we had a student design that. He found all the graphics, designed it, and they had the production kids print it out. And then we also did a um, anti-bullying poster, or sorry, anti-bullying banner um, that's down in the um, elementary school. And so we did that in the house. And like I said, if you probably for the size of it, I think it's about four foot by eight foot for the cost of sending it out. We're probably using 300 bucks on it. We did not, did not pay for that. Um, it was, I don't remember how much it was. Do you remember? No. You can say, I don't remember. You can say, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I can say, I can it was under 50 bucks. Oh, it was like 35, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, And it's so. the entire, like when you walk in, um, when you're going down the main hallway to the left, it's the entire top of that hallway. So, I mean, it's a, it's a large size. I just know we got paid. I just make sure we get paid. I don't remember. Did you rip that? Did I rip that? Yeah, it's still like one. I have, I have no idea. That, you're, you're in the tech department. So, you think you'll take outside orders? Yeah, what, what I want to do right now, and it's just for my sort of sense, is I want to stay inside with inside orders. Um, yeah, it's just on the one. So, uh, I broke it. Right now. Like, I broke it. Oh, yeah. Job, um, so they're so yeah, they're they're ready. Um, as soon as we get um, sort of the account, the school board was approved tonight. Uh, the order is ready to go in for the staff shirts, and the graphics are all done. Um, I'm just going to send off a proof tomorrow to make sure that it's they like um, the graphic that I designed that one. So I'm going to take credit for if they like it or not, because um, the kids were busy doing some other stuff. So I I said, oh, let me so. For me, it gave me, gave me kind of a new uh, breath of new uh, fresh air. Kind of, I get a new curriculum um, to teach. It gives me kind of a new skill. Um, I'm learning along with the kids, and so um, they see me as more of a, an instructor instead of just a teacher. Um, so they're like, "Oh yeah, I learned this trick." I'm like, well, "How did you do that?" And then I can tell them how to do stuff. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see that. Um, aspect and um, they are responsible. Like I said, they come in in the morning. We have production kids that have certain maintenance they have to do on this machine, so it's just not me doing everything. So, like Steve said, we have a, a board new board policy on the agenda tonight. It kind of shows how you're, it's going to be operated, and we're setting up a separate fund. So all this money he collects is going into this fund, so 011 fund, and the money that's collected is going to pay all the expenses. So he's gonna have a profit in it, hopefully. Hopefully, and what, that money can only be used for to replenish equipment, and supplies for this room. It can't be used for anything else. So we have a good checks and balances. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully at the end of the year, um, the kids are really excited about doing this. Uh, and like I said, hey, you know, we want to make a profit, and so do they. And so uh, they've been going out and sort of test marking. Hey, you know, we want to create this this red ribbon to make sure that I guess it's never been done. I'm like, well, if you guys think we're going to sell them, let's go ahead. And so we're ordering uh, 50 shirts in red, and they're going to do them and sell them for red ribbon. We can either they're going to make money or we're going to lose money on them. And hopefully we can sell them next year or something. You know, it's a, it's a risk, and in the business world, they have to learn how to take those risks. Um, and the idea is, like, you know, they say, oh, well, we have no, you don't have a thousand dollars. You have no money right now, other than the stuff we paid for the banner. That's all the profit you have. You've already exceeded your, 
you know, your profit because now we have to replenish some of the material. Uh, we have to get more t-shirt transfer to do the staff shirts, you know, which, which we'll, we'll make, but until you make that back and deliver them on time as delivered, you, you didn't make anything. So. Um, to, to piggyback off of what Mr. Zinger said real quick, to talk about reinvestment and expansion, um, we'd like to, as we gain more money, um, make a profit, probably buy another one of the stickets. They're not that expensive, so we can roll customization quicker. And also, there's a process called dye sublimation, which you can actually put on coffee mugs and, and things like that, um, and embroidery printing. So if you actually wanted an embroidered thing, it works just like that, except you put thread on it. There's your hat, there's your polo shirt, and things like that. But that's, you know, down the road. Yeah. yeah, the kid's got enough to, to learn, and Mr. Moore has enough to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, any other questions? Oh, yeah, we will eventually, like I said, we want to expand um, it out to outside orders. Um, probably not until the beginning of the year, um, just for the reason that to get the kids used to meeting a demand in-house. Um, the elementary teachers are not going to be that upset if we're a little late on the, the shirts. They'll, they'll, you know, I know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I know, they want them, okay. Uh, but maybe they'll be more forgiving than sort of an outside customer. Um, I'm not saying that our product is not going to be as good as it, I just want to deal in the house. It's a little easier to deal with one or two shirts than, you know, somebody from the outside world, you know, yelling and screaming that 50 shirts were wrong and stuff like that. A question? Yes. Um, did the kids announce, does the school announce to the kids that shirts can be purchased? Oh, uh, when, when we're going to get running, yeah. Um, hopefully, my goal was to start making shirts by October. We make shirts, but not to sell. Um, the kids have done um, really well. We had kind of a rocky start um, with some um, tech and some stuff issues, as you always would the initial uh, start of a business. Um, and yet, so just getting them organized in terms of what we're doing. Um, one of the we're going to go down to go down to this thing, for example. Yeah, we didn't know we needed some of the stuff. We were building the, the plane as we were flying it. All right. So, oh, we need this. Okay, yeah, we need you know, a table and cutting, you know, cutting it. And we're like, oh wait, we're going to like, oh, we need a place to put stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's like little things like like any household project. You know, like you're doing a plumbing, and next thing you know, you're like, wow, I need 50 more items that I forgot. <laughs> it's kind of how it was. Uh, but the kids, you know. Um, they accepted it. Um, some days were funny, you know, would come in like, oh, well, that's just not working today, okay. Um, but, you know, like anything, um, eventually they're going to go down to lunch and they're going to start selling the products there. So, yeah, they'll, they'll be made available. Um, like I said, their price point right now is about $10. And an interesting thing, um, it's different, it's going to be different than most silk screens. Silk screens charge you per color. It doesn't matter if we put 17 colors on a shirt. Our cost is just the ink cost, and it's by the size of the graphic, not the amount of colors that are on the shirt. And so that's where we can be a little bit better than most silk spinning places. Um, just a comment. You guys are doing a great job. Okay. Gave up his only study hall for this class, and he loves it. So. Okay. It sounds like you guys are also enjoying it, having a good time, making, learning. <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's been kind of fun. I make something, he makes something. We've been sharing texts. It's, 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 it's been fun. Okay. Yeah, we can yeah, like, with like, discover it's like, oh, I, oh, I found this button that makes it do this, and like, oh, I didn't know about that, and stuff like that. Well, the book for the things like this thick, and they're like, ah, we need to book. Thank you both. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe <coughs> those, uh, Mr. Baker purchased those for the school board members to take out. Mitch, you're going to get a shirt tonight. 12 years on a shirt, all right. <laughs> you want to customize and put legend on the back? That's not for me. No, it's not for you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I, I believe that there is enough. There's not well, thank you. Yeah. That's always nice yeah. of you. Yeah. So. It's not for you. Yeah. I like it. Very fun. Very fun. Thank you. Thank you.